All right, hello everyone. As you can see by the title of this video, I will be doing a video demonstrating how to set addresses on these different fire alarm devices. I have the three major types that you will find, or at least the three major brands, and that is your Honeywell series, such as Firelight, Notifier, um, Silent Night, you know, those types of brands. I will also be showing Simplex and EST. I won't be going over Siemens because I don't have their devices and all of their panels are proprietary anyway, so not much point in me going over that. So I have a Silent Night SK Photo smoke detector, this Honeywell rebranded EST SIGA 278, a Silent Night monitor module, this Simplex 4098-9714 smoke detector and a Simplex 2099-9761 pole station. So I'm going to go ahead and start by showing the Honeywell type devices. Alright, so right here I have two Silent Night addressable modules. One of them is obviously a smoke detector and a monitor module. They both address the same way so I'll start with the smoke detector. So if we look at the back here, get in view, you'll see there are those two dials right there, the tens and the ones. So when you're programming these devices, you need to set an individual address for each one. So this one's pretty straightforward. Say you needed address 27. You put your screwdriver in here, turn this to two, like that, and then the ones, set to 7. This device is now programmed to be address 27. In the same manner with this, let's say we need to set this to 49. Tens, set that to 4, and then the ones, turn that all the way to 9. And as you can see, in the tens place we have four, ones place we have nine, 49. It works the same way on all Firelight and Notifier, Gamewell, FCI, all that. If you have an addressable system like that, that's how you would set the address on those devices. Now let's move on to Simplex. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at Simplex devices. So now these ones are different from the Honeywell type devices. These ones actually use binary code to set the addresses. So there's a set of eight dip switches inside, and it determines one, two, four, eight, sixteen, and so on. It goes up to 128, so there's eight switches. So to demonstrate, start the pull station. What you'll want to do is you'll want to open this up. And yeah, you can't really see it, but in here their dip switches. They go from right to left, so on the far right is one and on the far right is on the far right is one and the far left is one twenty eight. So what you would do is that you would set these addresses, these dip switches to add up to whatever number you need. So now I'm gonna demonstrate that further on the smoke detector. You will not need the head, but you'll take a look at the base actually on this one. Now in here you can actually see the dip switches. They're all on the off position, which means that they're not giving a number. In here, on this one on the far left is 1, and on the far right is 128. So let's say we needed 16. You would go just to 16 and flip that switch up. And as you can see, the fifth one is up, which means... 16. So now let's say we need to make that 25. Well now we could turn on the 1. Come on. There we go. We turned on switches. Oh, come on. We turned on switches 1 and 8. So that would mean 1 plus 8 plus 16, which equals 25. So that's an example of setting up 
simplex addressable devices. So now finally we'll move on to the EST type. Okay, so lastly we will look at the EST style of devices. So now this one's a lot different from the other ones. There's no switches or anything to set the address. Instead, if you look on the back, on the module, you can see right there, there's a barcode and a number under it. How this works is that each individual device has its own serial number, per se. For instance, this one, which I'm not going to read out, but I'm kind of going over with my screwdriver. So how it works is that the panel will see each individual module, like so, and it'll know pull station, smoke detector, control module, whatever it is. So rather than having to set an address on this, the panel will read this serial number. So these ones can basically just be hooked up and programmed in. And you can program in your locations and all that. Now I've never worked with an EST system, so that's just my best understanding of it. Someone can add extra info in the comments if they feel obliged to. So that's all I've got for EST. So now after going over all the devices, we have reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this informative and helpful. If anyone has any information they would like to add, they may leave it in the comments. As always, be sure to check out my GroupMe and eBay. Both links are in the description. Thank you and have a great day.